Welcome back to Weekend Smile. Embarking on a noble quest to craft authentic vegan cuisine, Karif Chef Reefy Hyde from Chef of Ethiopia Vegan Cuisine joins us in commemorating International Reggae Day with a delicious aki and breadfruit pizza. Hello, Chef Reefy, how are you? Greetings, I'm glad to be here. So happy to have you here. As a vegan chef, what actually inspired your journey to, be, to become one? Ah, well, a part of my vegan journey was actually aligned with me becoming Asta. Mm -hmm. And then the whole aspect of being vegan then was heightened by me actually being a chef. So it pursued, it pushed me to try to experiment a bit more to try to find new dishes and stuff like that. Okay, what would you say are some of your favorite vegan dishes? Ah, this one right here definitely the is pizza? one. Yeah. Okay. I'm a big lover of dal, uh, curried split peas, which is a traditional too, Indian dish. Too. Yeah, mm. so stuff like that are, are close to home for me. I mean, I'm sure you have favorites at Ethiopia vegan cuisine, definitely. you know. I'm sure. I, I know that this one is your favorite. But what, what's the crowd favorite there? The crowd favorite, this one has always been a customer favorite. The same dal that I mentioned earlier, as well as things like our stews are very, very, you know, people yeah. take to them a lot. Okay, so as a vegan chef, what are some creative ways that you've probably incorporated plant-based ingredients to achieve your flavors, you know, that nice little oomph that you need, and textures that are possibly uh. reminiscent of the non-vegan dishes? Um, I try to experiment a lot and my aim is to please not only the vegan palate but also the non-vegan mm -hmm. palate. So we try, for example, we do cauliflower, we would fry them, we coat them in some sauces and it would be reminiscent of meat to some who okay. tend to miss that kind of thing. Okay, I know that persons use like cauliflower to make a lot of things, yeah. even like cauliflower rice. Yes. You know, I mean, as someone who is, yes, I, I like some vegan dishes, yeah. uh, but when persons are possibly you know, even trying to cut down on carbs and that yeah. kind of thing, you can use it to trick yourself. Definitely. Put things say it's the same kind of rice you're eating, but it's not really the rice. Definitely. Or the cauliflower chunks that you, yeah. know, you mentioned, that, that, that's that. But in terms of, let's move away a little bit from food now. What yeah. about music? What's your take on reggae music? What's your opinion on that? Uh, poor, powerful music, very powerful music, very influential and a music that is full of message. So definitely something that is very crucial and very influential on me as a chef as well. Yeah? Love my music in the kitchen. So you play your music when you're making definitely. your food? Definitely. <laughs> that's a part of, that's a part of the love. That's how you get the love yeah, in the Yeah, it's that good spirit, that good vibe. That's right. Yeah, that's man. Right. Put, sprinkle a little extra love in the thing. Definitely. So we're going to sprinkle some extra love right here. We're going to show us how you make your aki pizza. All so right. what we're starting with, Chef Reefy? All right. So we'll start with our base, which is totally made from breadfruit, from roasted breadfruit. Ooh. It could be considered gluten-free. Can I there finish? Can I just sure. it, tilt it a little bit to show our, our sure. viewers? It's totally gluten free, no flour whatsoever. Okay. Just roasted breadfruit and seasonings. All right. So we have All the base, right. then what so do we do? So on top of that, we're going to put some of our homemade tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. We take pride in making sweet. everything from scratch. Let me tell you, people, it smells good. Like I can smell the herbs and the spices. Yeah. Chef Reefy never play with this, you know, so we know that it's tomato base, but you don't have to tell me everything, Chef Reefy, but in this tomato sauce, what else do you probably add? You add anything um, special? Um, probably the local we call French thyme. Okay. That's one of the herbs that I like to cook with. It has a very unique flavor and a very unique smell as well. Okay. All right, so after we add your home-based to tomato paste, sorry. Right. Yes, what, what, what do we have here? What are we adding next? All right, here we're going to add our sautéed aki. Mm -hmm. And people who say it's vegan and semi-vegan, right? This is just aki with, you a know, some... A whole lot of seasoning. A whole lot of seasoning. We have, of I see them. bell peppers in there. I see onions. Yeah. So we're going to spread that evenly. That's right. And while we're spreading that, how do you feel about, you know, the, the message and vibe of reggae music with the values and philosophy of veganism? Um, I think they correlate a lot. Um, both of them are about taking care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Vegan food is about eating healthy, taking care of your body. Well. And reggae music is about wholesome music with a message about taking care of ourselves and taking care of our families. So I think they go hand in hand. Okay. And now, hand in hand, we're adding some, what's we're that, adding scallion? some scallion and some jalapeno peppers on Yum. top. Scallion, jalapeno peppers. Yes, so we have just about some. a little bit of everything. That's some more bell peppers or what we sometimes call sweet, sweet peppers. That's right. Yeah. 
So we're, just so we're adding some goodness. Are there any like specific reggae artists or songs that you that would say you know inspire you in your culinary journey? Um, I so would you tell say, me, say you tell me say you play music when you make the food in you know, a chef. Definitely, briefly. five star. Big up <laughs> man like five star songs like God Flow. You know, big up. Chronic same way, yeah. good vibes and good music, you yeah? know? Okay. Definitely. All right, so we just added some onions. Uh -huh. And then we're going to make sure you're going to even it out now, Chef Riffy. That is it. Yeah. So we just spread them out to get a nice And little. then after we've added all our toppings, all right. what, we're just what going do we to do? place it in the oven for just about 15 minutes because most of the items here are already cooked. So we just put it in for about 15 minutes just to get a little crunch I'm on gonna, the top. I'm going to tilt a little bit so my viewers can see a sure. little better. Yes. So as you see, the crust, which is... And the ingredients are actually on the screen, guys. So we have for the crust, breadfruit, as we mentioned. For the toppings, we had the sautéed ackee, tomato sauce, sweet peppers, onions, jalapeno peppers. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. And if we want, we can add anything else. You know, Definitely. probably some anything mushrooms. Anything that suits you. That's right. Make That's a right. pineapples if we want some fruit That's toppings right. too. That's right. Okay, and then we just bake for about 15 minutes. That's just about 15 minutes, just to get a little crust on the top and you're good to go. All right, and then it gets a little crispy. Just a tad bit crispy. Don't burn it up, people. Definitely. All the non-chefs, call Chef Riffy. How would you then um, say that you create a harmonious dining experience at Ethiopia, uh, Ethiopia. At Ethiopia Vegan Cuisine? Ah, uh, well, we try to, we're a street-based restaurant right now, so we get a bit of the, the, the raw experience in terms of you're eating your food, but you're still a bit in the street, so it's kind of a street food type of vibe right okay. now. So we create an environment around that, just to kind of suit and make you feel comfortable while eating in here. All right, but nonetheless, it's a good vibe. Definitely. Where are you guys located? Uh, we are located at 72 and a half Manning Hill Road. That's a little bit down from Pizza Hut on okay. the left hand side. And if it is that I don't want to come in and dine, but I feel for some really nice, authentic vegan cuisine, I can just give you a call. Definitely, you can come in and voila. pick up and go. Um, we do a limited amount of caterings during the week, so prefer if you call and pre order first just to ensure that something is secured for you. Okay, all right, because you know we have to make sure it's the thing right, Definitely. right? You have to give everybody equal amount of love per day. <laughs> Do you have an Instagram? Ah, yes, our Instagram is Etopia876. Etopia876. Chef Reefy, thank you so much. I think I want to show our viewers the what product. the finished product will look like. So there we have it. Yes. A nice Aki pizza courtesy of Etopia Vegan Cuisine. Thank you so much, Chef Riffy, for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. It looks me. good, it smells even better, and I'm sure it will taste amazing. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it, and tell you guys about it, all right? Chef from Etopia Vegan Cuisine, Karif, Chef Riffy Hyde. As we savor in the flavors of our pizza here on the set, we invite you to stay tuned because after the break, we will venture onto the dance floor to showcase some brokins and other reggae and dancehall moves. We soon come back. Are you 